Somebody asked about making uh, something like a health meter, and it seems like a pretty common thing either to show the score or to show um, how far along you've gotten in the game or, or whatever, your health. So I've got this guy here, and he's going to have a certain level of radiation that's, uh, that he is, has been exposed to, and, uh, and then this is the actual radiation. So anytime this radiation moves on top of him, it'll uh, increase his radiation level. So let's get that working first. To keep track of something like that, I probably want to use a variable. So I'm just going to call it rads, and it really is only relevant to him. But um, since I'm going to also have a bar that shows the amount of radiation, I might think ahead and say, no, you know what? It's not just him that has to know about it. It's also going to be this bar. So all sprites should be able to see this rads valid variable. And um, really simply, if I want to uh, increase that number whenever he's uh, in contact with this symbol over here, then I can just say uh, forever, check to see if he's in contact with radiation, which is that thing, radiation. And uh, if he is, then increase this variable number. So let's check it out. I'm going to move this over here, and we can see it goes up every time it gets near him. OK. So um, that's just kind of a simple example. We could refine that somehow by using some other system. But um, I, and, and also, we can define the, the center points of these sprites to get a little more accurate somehow. But I'm not worried about that. I just want to make sure this number is going up. <laughs> is it? Yes, if it's running, it's going up. OK. Let's also right away realize that every time I restart the game, it's still at 204, and just right away solve some problems by setting it to zero every time. OK. Now I need my bar graph. I will just do this by making a new sprite. I'll make it green. And uh, I'd like to make it the entire height of the stage, but this is actually zoomed out. See how I'm able to scroll here? So if I zoom out further, you can see there are no scroll bars anymore. This is actual pixels of the game. So now I can make something that's the full height of the stage. I'll hit OK. And I will call this the level. I'm going to position this down here. And what's going to happen is as this radiation goes up, it's going to uh, increase this way. So the current position right now is uh, minus 215 and minus 343. So I think what I'll do is um, right away just make sure that whenever someone clicks, it repositions itself at, at the zero mark. And luckily, those numbers are already filled in. So even if I accidentally move this, when I hit start, it goes back to there. So um, let's take a look at um, this. You know, there, there are a few ways to do this, actually, but uh, here, here's like a really simple way. If we want this to go higher, if, uh, if the radiation level goes up, then let's take a look at this number. It starts at 0, and it goes um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on. And I think well, all we have to do is basically change the y to be um, minus 343 plus whatever the rads are. So it'll get higher. Let's try that. So I'll say forever, keep watching that rads variable and change the, uh, x, the, the y position accordingly. So I'm going to set y to, um, I don't want to set it to just a rads, because that would bring it up here, that 0. So what I really want is minus 343, which is our starting point plus rads. Let's try it. We can do this any number of ways, but I'll see how this goes. So I will bring this over, and here you go. It's starting to go up. And it continues to go up every time it's near him. It would be nice if this started to fall down every time uh, we were away from it, slowly maybe. And um, maybe I'll try that, but let me, let me get this out of the way first. So I'll start over. It goes back down to 0, and that goes back to position. Perfect. One other thing that I'd like is for 
there to be a couple different costumes. So I'll call this uh, no problem. And I will make another copy of it and call this one warning. And I'll make another copy and call this danger. Just so they look different, I will call I will make the uh, warning level yellow. Oops. And I'll make the danger level obviously red. So I'd like to make sure it starts out with uh, no problem. So here where I set the original position, it would be nice to also set the costume to, um, to be the correct one, which is no problem. So anytime I hit the green arrow, uh, the green flag, it sets me at bottom and at uh, no problem. Then uh, I could do this totally separately. I could say anytime the uh, RADS number gets above a certain amount, we probably want to look into uh, changing its costume. So I think the way to do this would probably be to say, if, hmm, I think maybe, all right. I'll do this in a way that that's easy to understand. So if the uh, radiation level is between uh, 0 and 20, we want to stay at um, the, easy, the, the no problem level. So how do we do that? I'll show you what this looks like. If the radiation level, now oh, this one's easy actually. If the radio, radiation level is less than 10 or 20, whatever we say, then use costume number one. No problem. If the radiation level is greater than 20 and less than 40, hopefully that makes sense, radiation level is less than 20 and, uh, or is greater than 20 but less than 40, then I'd want to switch to costume, costume uh, warning. And then finally, I will say if the radiation level is greater than 40, then switch to costume danger. Now there's a little bit of a problem here because I'm saying here that it needs to be less than 20 and here it needs to be greater than 20, but what about the possibility that it's exactly 20? What happens then? It may work out, but it, it, we may also want to say uh, it's greater than 19, so that way this covers us less than 20, this covers 20 and above basically, and the same here. So you'll figure that out. Okay, so let's try it out. There, it's yellow and then it's red. So I'd have to make those numbers a lot better. Uh, maybe we'll just try it out. If it's over 100, it's danger. And if it's over uh, less than 40, 100 here. See how this goes. Okay. And okay. And then you'd have to put more logic in there to say that there's a certain amount where uh, it can reach, or you know maybe when the radiation level gets to a certain certain number, uh, he dies, or you move on to another level, or he, you know, there's some some text or something like that. So uh, I'll stop there, but.
it would be really nice to figure out a way that uh, whenever there's something, some idle case where it's not actually affecting him, maybe this goes down slowly, and that would be pretty easy to do.